Hi everyone and welcome back to our seven part series of what's new in gender design in Solida 2019. For those of you who have been following us, welcome back. For those of you who haven't, definitely check out our previous videos. We went over a lot of stuff already in uh, gender design with some loads, um, new constraints, and uh, we even went a little bit into the new manufacturing settings. And today that's what we're going to be going over as well. Um, we're going to be going over manufacturing spreading. So, but before we go into that, let's a brief overview of this specific part. Um, the design space is uh, the entire feature. The preserve regions are the same for the studies one through seven. They're all going to have the same offset of 3.484 around these cylindrical features. Um, let me toggle that off. The load for this case is 0.5 um, pounds force, and the there are um, fixed fixed constraints and a pin constraint. And the fixed constraint has an offset of 3.484. Let me double click it so you guys can see. 3.484 and the pin constraint is also 3.484. Um, previously said in some um, older videos is that the offset is how much material general design is going to keep. So that's that. Um, and the if we select on the general design, it's going to tell us that we are doing our study or for about 10 minutes and 24 seconds with a 50% mass reduction rate and this button is a little slow just because we have so many different studies but here it is um, so like I said 10 minutes and 25 seconds with a reduced percentage of 50% and uh, like I said in our previous videos a low study does not by means mean a bad study it just means that your parts going through less iterations than a high study the high study is three hours 40 minutes and 10 seconds but this one uh, was 10 minutes and 24 seconds um, but that doesn't matter because we're not going to be generating this part since we already have it and it's going to be study six so if we click on uh, study six um, we'll see oh before that let's let's actually talk about the manufacturing settings for material spreading so 0% is no effect um, it's not gonna be very spider like it's around 30% you're gonna see hollowed out solids 60% is what we chose for thin walled structures and 100% is like super um, spidery like uh, features so uh, you guys saw a little bit of it before, but here it is again. And let me show the stress values. So you can see that they are um, not super strut light, but they are um, definitely not super hollowed out solids. They're a good mix in the middle. The red are high stress values and the blue are low stress values. Um, so huge design uh, gender design features definitely with the material spreading um, so you can control that um, by percentage and it's, it's pretty easy as you saw before um, you can definitely play around with a slider bar see how much weight you can reduce with the gender design button so now we're really getting into um, really topology optimization for your manufacturing needs so that's really cool um, like I said, this this part is 50% mass reduction, uh, and it was a 10-minute study with uh, 24 seconds. So I highly recommend taking a box and applying some loads and forces to it, um, some constraints, and just playing around what des uh, general design has to offer. All right. Well, that's it for this video. It's pretty short. Next, we're going to be going over the new displacement constraint, um, but definitely check out our previous videos as well. Thanks, everyone, and have a good day.